y'all see what I see? You see it? I, just, I was out here earlier and didn't even notice them. Strawberries. First three of the year, or two and a half, because that one right there has been munched on. But I've got the chickens out free ranging and they'll enjoy it. Chick, chick! <laughs> I won't bother weighing the first two because they're going in my mouth. I'm getting ready to refresh these boxes so that I can plant some green beans. I have an audience. But that's what I'm trying to beat the rain again. But I'm going to be planting uh, some Cherokee Trail of Tear beans that I saved from last year. And in one of these boxes, and the other one I'm going to do some uh, Kentucky Wonder pole beans. So I did bush beans out there, so I'm doing the pole beans over here because I've got the trellises on these. But that's what I'm doing. I'm not going to film a lot because um, I'm trying again. I'm trying to beat the rain. Now I'm adding some more potting mix to it, and these you've got to use the potting mix. And I'm just kind of mixing it together in there. It's all pretty moist in here, except the new stuff is just slightly dry, but it's been rained on, so it'll it'll all mix in. But you don't want to do sorry, you don't want to just do it all dry in there. You got to have some moisture in there because you don't want it to get hydrophobic on you. So right now I'm just kind of blending it together, and I'm gonna pull this to the side and add some more, and keep doing this till I make it up to like the loaf that I want. Carly sneaking up over here. Are you looking for nuts, Charlie? Are you looking for nuts? Let me go get them. And yes, my green stock box needs to go to the compost pile. I had not just got it there yet. I'll be right back. I'll get you some nuts. I put him some nuts on the windowsill because the chickens will come hoarding. Hoard He's hiding over there under that chair. Once I sit down, he'll be back up there. Now, I'm not sure y'all can see that. Let me see if I can back it up. But I've mounted it up like a loaf of bread. So it's a good two or three inches above the, the edge. But it's mounted up in the center. And with beans, I didn't, I'm not going to fertilize because I'm going to liquid fertilize through the year. I checked the pH and I don't need lime or anything to this box other than new potting mix to, to fluff it up. Now I've got my contractor bag over it and tucked it in on the sides like I've shown you before. And now with beans, it says you can do, uh, I think it says 16 beans per earth box, but I'm going to do about 12 because it will get a little overcrowded with 16 in here. But instead of doing it down the sides, like it says, I'm just going to do it right down the middle. So that's where I will cut my little holes to drop my beans in. And let's just see how many holes I can get. One, two, I'm not going to count for you. like about 10 is what I'll do and I'm gonna put a couple of beans in each hole just because this, this are, these are the ones I saved from last year and I'm hoping they work so I'm gonna put a couple of beans in each hole and then we'll come back and we'll look at them again here in a couple of weeks and see if they popped up if not I'll plant something else and and the Kentucky Trail of Beans Trail of Tears Beans I got them from Baker Creek originally, but these are a black bean, and you dry them, and you cook them as a black bean. They're dry. Oops. I have bean come up the side. Um, but you, you cook them, and you save them as a dry bean. There's Charlie up there getting his nuts. But that's what you do with the, the black beans, or these beans. Mavis, it's not a buffet. Come on, girl. Y'all ready to go home? Now it's, now it's time for the bribery. Get them home with worms. 
Let's go, girls. They found a roost in there. Bianca and Nora in the middle and unnamed back there in the back. I see ya. You don't have to push over here. The other babies are down there peeking at me. But I came out to put the lamp in because it's overcast today and I think it'll get darker earlier today. So it's about 10 after 8. Sorry for the train, but I went ahead and got the light in there and then I'll come back out here in another 20 minutes or so, 30 minutes or so and see if they're all in and take the lamp out. I don't know if you can see it, but all the littles went up. So I've come to get the lamp. But they covered up and knocked over. <laughs> Let me have my lamp. Let me have my lamp. No, 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 no. Get your foot out of there. Get your head back. I think I'm gonna do that again for the next, that's the second night with the lamp. I think if I do it for the next three or four nights, I'll try it or I'll do, I'll skip one night and see if they go in by themselves, but hopefully by then they'll be doing it. Y'all have a good day, have a good night. Cause it's about time for bed. <laughs>